so let's get started so I have my acrylic chalk paint which is salsa red with me I have the two coasters that I'll be creating and I have a sponge dapper I'll just let us paint this do two coats of this and let it dry well so now see my salsa red color has dried up on top of my coasters now both the coasters I'm going to be designing in a monotone or in a sim color so for this what I'm doing is I've kept my basic supplies ready let me show you how we'll be designing now it's very important that you keep the mirrors that you have with you in handy because if you don't keep your mirrors handy what will happen is ultimately you've already done all your thing and your particular mirrors which you want fitted will not fit inside so it's important that you have your mirror pieces handy okay just measure the depth it is approximately 6 mm okay and the total depth is approximately 5 centimeter just mark your line here approximately this is my center point okay this point becomes my center point just i'm going to rub off the rest i'll just let my center point stay okay so this is approximately five centimeter and from here i'm going to mark my point at uh, four centimeter where i'm going to create a line in the outer part i'm going to have one of my mirrors so let us first draw so these lines that we are drawing don't draw them too dark okay i'm drawing it for reference purposes just see it is going it should fit on all sides still there is a little bigger size here so i've drawn a circle here okay now what i'm going to do is here at this point i'm drawing a semicircle here i'm drawing a semicircle so if i get it closer this is the kind of pattern that i have drawn in one of my pieces in the other piece also let us mark our center so i'm just using the grid line available below on my board to mark my line so this is the point that i get now in this one i'll just do a little different i'm showing you two different styles of making um lip and coasters so here i've drawn this now I'm just determining my points here, okay? And here we are going to go in for the square. There is going to be a little difference. I want to create, this is 5.5 cm. I'm going to draw another line at approximately 1 cm from both sides just join it this side also leave one one centimeter okay just make another square and just make a cross also here just connecting the diagonals out now if i show you this is the pattern that i have drawn now keep both these handy with you i have taken my fabricrill 3d outliner and i have filled it onto a cone you know i like it using it through my cone because then i can have the consistency thickness thinness according to my requirement so i find this a little thin okay i'm just going to increase the thickness so right now i'm drawing a line work if you do if you're doing cone work with for the first time then i would suggest that you do a little bit of practice before you start doing your cone work onto a piece of paper you can just draw your lines straight lines or uh, diagonal lines etc and do a lot of practice now here i'm going to divide this diagonally now here to give continuity i'm going to break it at the points where there is a joint and restart from here okay this way now comes giving a little more dimension to it now we are not going to leave the edges like that just give a line around the edges so just be very careful when you are doing this this way now in this outer part 
I'm going to not put here I won't be putting my mirror so here I'm doing my straight line work the white and red combination really looks beautiful so I wanted to keep these uh, posters in monotones if you would like the uh, colors add kar sakte ho in the portions where I'm doing my lining work you can add a different set of color on the base and then you can do mirror works in separate parts I've done another style of coasters also in Lipton and I will mention the link of that in the description box you can refer to those those I have done a set of two coasters where we've used two colors to do those particular coasters you can also try your hand at those beautiful coasters as well Lipton can further be done on various surfaces it is a very beautiful and a versatile form of art which is done which is from Gujarat region and you can do it on bottles on boxes you can create beautiful paintings using Lipton style i will mention the links of all those videos that we have created on how to do it on a diary cover then how to do it on to a bottle how to do it on to gifting boxes as well as how to create beautiful paintings in the description box you can refer to those videos as well and create your gift range items as well so i hope you are liking the video please if you are liking the video don't forget to press the like button also please subscribe to our channel for many interesting art and craft videos that we keep doing don't forget to press the bell button so that you are the first one to be notified as soon as i'm putting up a new video we'll be putting up a lot of beautiful videos in the future relating to the festive season also that is coming so do stay tuned to our video on how to create a beautiful jodhpuri style choki as well which is going to be come up really soon. so this way i've done it i'm going to leave this for drying up So we've done an outline in these portions we are going to do our mirror work in these portions in the four corners that i'm creating here we will we can do very little or we can avoid doing mirror work so it's important that you plan what you're planning to do where you want to do your mirror work where you don't so that you have the entire design in your mind before you start doing your cone work here now if you're not comfortable freehand please feel free to give a base drawing to this I'm going to try to twin it with similar diagonal lines this side. Okay. Now this part we'll do a little bit of mirror work later on. and we are going to completely do it with mirror just draw few lines in between to give boundaries for mirror work now in the same way i'm going to do an outer lining now i'm going to leave both of these to dry and then i'm going to show you first we are going to seal these and then we are going to stick our mirror Now see this has completely dried up. Now only do the finishing work here after this uh, cone work of yours has dried up. Depending upon the weather condition it might take less or more time. Now I am taking my decor varnish here. This is from the brand Little Birdie and this dries up really fast so I like the product. Just do a good coat of varnish. You can also do a lacquer spray if you like. Only thing is lacquer spray has a little odor so if you are comfortable with that you can use a lacquer spray also this is literally odorless and i like using this to do my finishing work just do it on the sides and later on you can do it once your entire project is done you can do it on the base also to secure it on the camera it must be looking a little bluish whitish but it's going to dry clean it dries clear it's going to dry up in 5 minutes and let me then show you how to do the mirror work on top so now see my varnish has completely dried up and see how glossy the surface has become now to add we are going to add our mirrors you can use any white glue here i'll be using my white glue and we'll be putting our mirrors
okay this way let me do it in the other also now see i have done borders for both isn't it started looking nice there is a little glare coming onto the screen also so let us now start now depending upon the pieces that are available with you you can plan how you are going to be putting inside also now we'll have to see this is a little bigger piece if it fits inside this way i am putting in the authentic style mirrors were put very very close to each other so try to put give equal distance between your mirrors when you are putting these see isn't it looking beautiful now now let us start with our second piece Now see how beautiful the other one is also looking. Both are monochrome coasters are ready. I hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you are the first one to know as soon as we put up a new video. And do share your beautiful lip and work also with us and tell me which color you used for creating your monochrome lip and coasters. Thank you so much and see you in our next video. Bye bye.